So this is an update to a video that I made about a year ago on how to share your screen in Microsoft Teams. That video is one of my top performing videos on this channel and it continues to be watched by a lot of people. But since there have been pretty significant changes in Team in the past year, the outdated info seems to be confusing some people. So I've put together this video as an update to show you three different ways you can share your screen in Microsoft Teams as of August 2021. For those of you who are new here, my name is Andy Park and I make videos about productivity every week. If this topic piques your interest, consider subscribing to my channel. So here we are in Teams in the calendar tab. Let's click on meet now and start a new meeting. Make sure your audio and video settings are correct and hit join now. Since we're the only one in the meeting, we have the option to invite people. I'm just going to close this and maximize this window. Okay, to share our screen, we click on this icon here. We can also use the shortcut Control shift e We now see a side panel with some options. At the top, we have an option on whether we want to include the computer sound when we share our screen. If we share any content that includes audio, like a PowerPoint presentation with a video slide, we can turn this on. Two caveats to consider here. First, when include system sound is turned on, it'll share all our system sounds. For example, when we get a notification, everyone will hear it. Second, in some cases, depending on our audio setup, this can introduce some echoes. So my suggestion is to keep this turned off and only enable it when we need it. When we start sharing our screen, we'll see this option easily accessible in the presenter bar. I'll show you this later. The second option we see here is the presenter mode. Do we want to share the content only or do we want to show our webcam video along with the content? Let's circle back to this in a moment since it makes more sense to show this feature when we're actually sharing our screen. Okay, now we're at the part where we're actually sharing our screen. We have three options here. First is to share our screen. The second is to share a specific window. And the third is to share a PowerPoint file. I'm gonna ignore the whiteboard for the purpose of this video. So for screen sharing, we see two thumbnails. I have two monitors, so we see a thumbnail for what's showing on each. Let's select screen one. We can see there is a red border around the screen indicating that all contents that are inside this red border are being shared. This is a good option if you have multiple contents to share without breaking the flow. For example, if you want to put two contents side by side or want to switch around between the two. Basically, anything you can drag into this first screen will be shared. The downside is that since the meeting participants will see everything in this screen, we have more risk that we may accidentally show contents that we don't want people to see. This would be things like personal email messages, chats, you get the idea. Also, if you get notification or other system prompts that pops up on the screen, everyone will see that as well. For this reason, the option that I choose in most situations is the share window option. We can see that there are six active windows that we can choose from. When we click on it, we see the thumbnail for each individual window. Let's go ahead and select one. Similar to before, there's a border outlining the content that is being shared, but different from before, the red border is stuck to the window and not the screen. So even if we move the window around from one screen to another, resize or even minimize, the meeting participants will only see this window and nothing else. There's no risk of accidentally showing other contents that might be active on our computer. So we can do things like take notes in our OneNote that may partially cover this window, but other people won't see that. But again, the downside might be that if you wanna now share a different content, we'll need to stop sharing the current window and select another window to share, which may break up the flow of the meeting. Whether we're sharing our screen or our window, when we hover our cursor to the top of the active content being shared, we'll see the presentation bar. As briefly mentioned earlier, here we can include the computer sound and also change the layout of the presentation. 
To include or remove the computer sound, just use the toggle button here. To change the presentation layout to include the webcam feed in addition to the shared content, first make sure that our video is turned on, then choose this icon. A little preview window shows us how this looks to others. This is not perfect by any means, but considering that I'm not using a green screen, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, the last option is to share a PowerPoint file. This section will list some of the recent PowerPoint files we've used. If the file we want to present is not listed here, we can browse for it from our OneDrive. If the file is sitting in our local computer folder, we'll need to upload it to this meeting before we can share. I have a detailed video that shows specifically how we can share a PowerPoint file in Teams, so check that out if you're interested. So that's it for this video. Hope this updated video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and check out some of these other videos on productivity and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.